Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today is a day that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Today is the day that we unbox the PEV that supports right to repair. The PEV that was born out of community. The PEV that stands up for third party markets and developers. We are of course talking about the one and only Floatwheel ADV Pro. The point of this video is to unbox, get some first impressions, talk about what this means to the community and why we have a problem with future motion. So let's get started. I've got my holy pocket knife. This wheel was purchased with cryptocurrency. Sounds sketchy. What do we got? Charger, 10 amps. Next up, mm, that's gotta be the motor. Now this is the Canon Core, it's supposed to be six horsepower. Next up, oh, that's where most of the weight is. Okay, oh, this is the board. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious. Can you guys see that? Oh, yo, 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 yo. It moves, it's real, it's real. My Ethereum bought something. Cool, quite the assembly process. Let's take a look at this. Oh. That is a nice, that is a nice CNC going on there. I think I'm gonna keep all of that in there for now. Let's take out this phone. In the middle, no, it doesn't wanna come out. Let's take out the board. Wow. Wow. Okay, sweet rail. Alrighty y'all, now it's been a long time. If it all goes wrong, I'm the one who programmed this thing, so uh, okay. All right, how does this feel? Well, it feels really smooth so far. <laughs> you can hear that fender, oh my gosh. Wow, I really like the concave foot pads. So, we're gonna go to the Friday night ride. We're gonna see what everybody thinks of this thing. Yeah, here we go. Here we are at the FNR. We're with Jennifer Crusher. Jen, how do you feel about the, the float wheel? Uh, the float wheel is impressive. People have been waiting for it for a long time. It definitely has better specs than uh, Future Motion's one wheel. It was de noticeably more punchy. I liked the tire a lot. Felt more safe on it than, you know, just a standard one wheel. It turns nice, the tires are great, and it's definitely more punchy. This was my first time on a Vesk in general, but it felt amazing. Like, it was really fast, to be honest. I didn't feel any pushback or anything. No pushback. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Now I'm gonna get one. Why don't you go ahead and step on it, Brad? Okay. <laughs> Brad's first impressions. Bradley, what do you think of it? Um, it's very powerful. I would say that it is very stable. It feels like a, a sphere. I feel tall. Uh, it reminds me a lot of my XR, but I, it does feel a little bit more commanding on the road. I would say. More commanding. More commanding. It feels good. I, I will say, I, I do. Kelly just tried it. Kelly, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. It's cool. It feels Hi. different. Can you do a shot? I don't know. Different. Feels different. Different. <laughs> Oh no, maybe just the tire. It might just be the tire, but I like it. it. Feels good. Can't really tell from like only riding it for like five seconds, but she likes it from the five seconds. That I, I like it. But the board is great. The tire's a little too chunky. You need a better tune. We gotta really test it out. It, it's powerful. I like it. It accelerates great.
All right. Okay. I've had a little bit of time just to get a little bit more used to this thing. And my oh my, this is a PEV. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really good. This thing's got power. Dude, so far, this thing is feeling really, really good. Oh my goodness. Man, the, the VESC software is kind of phenomenal, actually. Wow. Eww. Here comes Thomas. How long were you using here for? Man, it's hard to put into words. Something's different about it. Oh, here he comes. Here he goes. Oh, there he goes. I didn't get uh, kind of the, you know, usual tail drag off that, like, simple curb. It's nice. It's smooth. Smooth. Smooth acceleration. Ooh, it's strong. Whoa! Whoa. It's strong. Whoa. Let's go. All right. Carvey, what is that noise? Some just plastic on there. Mini box. Ride this line. Ooh. Here we go. Something is touching the tire. That's cool. How does it feel? It feels smooth and strong. Something's touching the tire or something when I'm carving yeah, sideways. Yeah, yep. Sounds like hollow plasticky thing. It's yeah, probably just one of these fenders. Yeah. Are there like different shapings for it? Because it doesn't feel like any of the like stock XR shapings. Yeah, it's all best. Yeah, it's, all, it's got all the profiles. That's sick. Um, I trust it. I believe in it. <laughs> Here's Kelly Chameleon. There she goes. Here's Ben. There he goes. Here's Scotty One Wheel. Coming into the sunset at full speed on the float wheel. ADB Pro and Scotty One Wheel. I'm going to put the mic in your mouth. Hey, thanks for putting that in my mouth. What, what? How does it feel? It feels really nice. I am not super sold on vest, but it's like a good vest. In a few words. It's playful. I've ridden vests before and I haven't really liked Vesk a lot because it stays right here and wants to stay perfectly balanced, but this has a little play to it and it's way torquier and it just feels like a pent up, corked up screw. And the tire is wonderful, the stock tire, because it's, I have an enduro because it's wide and it makes the sex changes very easy. It's the best Vesk I've ever ridden, honestly. That's straight up honesty. You heard it here. All right, it's a new day. Well, everyone, I hope that all of the community's thoughts on their initial impressions gives you an idea of what this board is all about. This board is more about just specs. This board, to me, means change in the wind of where things are going. Enter Future Motion, the company that has highlighted their anti-repair, anti-consumer policies, horror stories of not fulfilling warranty for tire changes. They've gotten the attention of Lewis Rossman. This company is just trying to stop competition in any way that they can. This wheel is exactly the answer they weren't looking for. This wheel is the proof that you cannot stop competition. And the harder you try, the more it's just going to push back. This wheel represents an opposition to the way that these companies 
think that they can control what we've already bought. They think that they can control how we modify them, how we ride them, how we change out the tires. Future Motion has lost me as a customer, which is sad, you know? They were my gateway drug. You had the world in your hands. I couldn't think of a more American way to just sue and litigate and just crush the competition with lawyers. That is just all we've become. And this, this board is the answer to those American companies thinking that they can control everything we buy, everything we own. They think they can take away features after we've bought a product. This is the antithesis. And I hope that you can see that this represents a much, much bigger idea than just an alternative to the one wheel. Let me know what you think with your comments. Stay engaged with the community. Let's support PEV projects that stand up for the community, right to repair, and really are just run by us, the enthusiasts. So with that, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Holy crap. <laughs> and yeah, go get one. Seriously, it's a killer deal, like beyond killer. Uh, there's many things. I'll talk about them in a future video, but go get one. Hope you're doing well. I'll see you in the next one. Later.